Congress, by the way, is still to announce the new Karnataka chief minister. This is after winning the election on Saturday, even though the decision seems to have been made. Uh, that is what we have learnt. According to sources, the Congress has chosen Siddharamaiah for the role uh, of the Chief Minister because he has the support of most MLAs. And the task now is to bring Mr. D.K. Shivkumar on board. In his meeting with uh, Rahul Gandhi, D.K. Shivkumar indicated that he would not back down in the standoff with Siddharamaiah. This is what we have learned from sources. He later met the Congress Chief, Malikarjun Kharge as well. Now, what really is this formula that is being spoken about and what will be agreed upon within the Congress party? Will it be Chief Ministership for Siddharamaya and Deputy Chief Ministership for D.K. Shiv Kumar or some other arrangement is being worked at? In the meanwhile, uh, lots of questions being asked of the Congress party and in the middle of all of this, uh, rumours also uh, flying thick and fast to which a comment has come from Randeep Surjewala which we are going to play out in just a short moment from now. This is a tweet where uh, he has apparently taken on the Bharatiya Janata Party, trying to remind the BJP on the number of times they took a lot of time in choosing their chief minister. So if we scroll down on this tweet, yes, that paragraph, uh, it says, I hope same people had questioned Prime Minister Modi when he took 7 to 10 days in deciding chief ministers of Uttar Pradesh, Assam, Goa and many other states. No one then whispered a word on the high command culture but the same forces and a select news outlets have objections to the process of dialogue discussion consensus adopted by Shri Khargeji, which is in true democratic traditions. It's a fairly long tweet. Uh, in the second last paragraph, he also talks about, uh, he says, a clean, honest and transparent government of Karnataka is our duty and we will give the state a new government within 48 to 72 hours. So that is the new timeline of the Congress party. 48 to 72 hours, which basically means the next two to three days. So, will we have the chief minister's name by Friday or Saturday or Thursday? Let's quickly listen in to a statement by D.K. Shiv Kumar, who came out from a meeting, and this is what he had to say. I am not commenting anything, you people are commenting lot of things, you do whatever you want. Nothing, no discussion, nothing, just pranam, that's all. Am I talking to the next chief minister of Karnataka? Am I talking to the next chief minister of Karnataka? So you are going to be the next CM of Karnataka? Right, uh, joining us right now, Sunil Prabhu, uh, he's uh, at uh, the Congress President's uh, residence, that is uh, Mr. Malikarjun Kharge's Delhi residence. Tanushri Pandey is tracking Mr. D.K. Shivkumar. And we have Saurav Shukla tracking uh, Mr. Siddharamaya. Thank you very much. Sunil, to you first. My first question is, uh, do you think that this has gone on for far too long, even for the comfort of the Congress party? I mean, we do see a tweet from Mr. Randeep Surjewala who says that the BJP also has a track record of taking an awfully long time. But do you feel that the timeline that the Congress uh, must have thought that this is what we'll do post, uh, post the mandate? They have far exceeded that, that timeline. Definitely, they have exceeded that timeline. They were all set for having a swearing in uh, tomorrow uh, and uh, calling all like-minded opposition parties. The fact that uh, 18th was a scheduled date and you saw the uh, you know, preparations in Kantirwa Stadium, uh, now of course being uh, kept on hold, is a clear indication that uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkuma is not relenting. Uh, he believes that he should get the deputy chief minister's post. There have been a lot of uh, permutations and combinations in terms of offers to him, the deputy chief minister, uh, along with uh, uh, continuing and remaining as the PCC chief, uh, you know, prime portfolios for his uh, supporters and others. And of course, also power sharing agreement uh, where uh, Mr. Siddharamaya gets the first two and a half uh, years and then he gets the rest of the other two and a half years. All these have been found unacceptable uh, to Mr. D.K. Shivkumar because he believes uh, he has helped uh, the party in the last three years after Operation Kamal, uh, where it had been decimated. Uh, they have struggled in during the last three years, built the party, and he's one of the architects. Uh, and of course, it's a cumulative effort, uh, but he believes that it's his time now uh, to get the post of chief ministership. Uh, Sunil Prabhu, what can you share about the various offers? I mean, all of this is in the realm of speculation till someone actually comes out and, uh, you know, says uh, those things. But uh, obviously, I mean, you have learnt uh, 
uh, a lot from your sources. What really is on the table right now, which is uh, uh, being treated as acceptable by the party, but not agreed upon by Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar or by Mr. Siddharamaya? Well, uh, from Mr. Siddharamaya's side, he is very keen to become Chief Minister. Uh, and uh, that's something that uh, he's uh, uh, quite adamant about because he has the numbers. Uh, that's something that the party has to take into account. The only factor uh, that is holding back the Congress uh, leadership, uh, but of course, as we've said, it's more or less a done deal now, uh, was the fact that he was not really, uh, even though he's now been with the Congress for so many years, uh, that he comes from the JDS family uh, and that uh, his... Uh, uh, role uh, during that Operation Kamal, the supporters of his who left the party, 17 of them, uh, many of them were his staunch uh, loyalists uh, who then uh, uh, joined the BJP. Of course, they have been uh, given, uh, uh, lost out in this uh, current uh, assembly elections. Uh, so that's been a factor. Uh, the other, of course, being Mr. D.K. Shivkumar, who believes that there is no question. They've been talking even before elections of power sharing. What was the biggest uh, you know, cause of concern for the Congress leadership? Uh, that both Mr. D.K. Shivkumar as well as Mr. Siddharamaya uh, should work together. That's why we saw in the social media and various videos of them working together as well as uh, just the day before uh, voting, uh, going and uh, you know, praying together uh, in uh, Mysore region. So this was clearly an attempt to uh, ensure that they bury the hatchet uh, once uh, both have made it very clear, as you know, Sanket, uh, to uh, NDTV, both Siddharamaya as well as Mr. D.K. Shivkumar, that they wanted uh, the topmost job. And it's in this context uh, that uh, the uh, all-out war has begun. Uh, and really it is for Mr. Karge now, who's been talking of consensus, unanimity and unity, uh, to kind of find a way forward in trying to resolve this issue. As we speak, of course, there are other factions like the Lingayats, Mr. M.B. Patel, who also wants to be a Deputy Chief Minister. Uh, and like this, there are many other proposals, various other sections who want uh, to be represented in the Cabinet, which the Congress President and the Congress High Command will have to take into account since uh, this is a massive mandate uh, for the uh, Congress Party in the state of Karnataka. That's right. Uh, Saurabh Shukla, who's tracking Sidharamaya camp. Saurabh, do you feel that this is one of those situations where uh, the more negotiation that takes place, the more and more complicated the situation will become till such time that we have a clear decision, that here is the decision, follow it. Absolutely, uh, Sanket, in your show yesterday, I was here at ITC Moria and we were talking uh, the, uh, more or less about the same thing that Siddharamaya as the front runner is likely to be the CM and DK Shivkumar is not agreeing to that. But now things have changed. One significant development is that Siddharamaya is, uh, is there here and DK Shivkumar uh, has been offered uh, deputy CM post. But now I have just met three uh, MLAs who are from Siddharamaya's camp and they are Lingayat. One is Vijay Ananda Kashyap. He said that I am Lingayat uh, and I want one Lingayat deputy CM because this time Lingayats have voted for uh, Congress party. So they want their represented, uh, representation as well, uh, if not at the top post because uh, Siddharamaya and DK Shukumar are there, but uh, definitely uh, as a deputy right, CM. So, one, so one that one is also Mr. a Randeep one possibility. Sir, 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 tweet. Sir, sir, tweet. Okay, we're trying to figure out, uh, you know, it's, it gets very difficult to track which car is leaving from which house or entering which house. You really need to, so uh, uh, perhaps either Sunil Prabhu or, uh, or Saurabh Shukla or Tanushri can tell us where exactly was it. Let's listen in once again. Randeep Surjewa. Sir, you have to do some things for that. You have to do some things for that. Where are you? Where are so from what we were able to gather from this sequence, uh, we can see Randeep Surjewala who is the in charge of Karnataka and DK Shiv Kumar. Uh, who's perhaps batting for a for an important position they have le uh, they have left the residence of 
one top Congress leader and I believe from what, uh, what we heard, they are now headed to the residence of Mr. Malik Arjun Kharge, who is the Congress president. Uh, Saurabh Shukla, I do not know whether you were able to uh, figure out from where they are leaving and where they are going, but then uh, obviously these, these meetings are just going on and on and on, Saurabh. Absolutely, absolutely, Sanket, till the time they come out and say, tell us that who is going to be the CM and who is going to be the deputy CM, then there is a news because closed doors, closed door meetings are underway. In fact, uh, Siddhar Maya is also holding closed uh, uh, door meetings here at ITC Moria. More than 25 MLAs are here from uh, Siddhar Maya's camp. In fact, uh, his son, Yatindra Siddhar Maya, has also reached here. Uh, we did speak with him. He said that, uh, 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 that he has... He is going to meet his father after one week. Our colleague Vasudha Venugopal was also here. She uh, did speak with Yatindra. So he is also not saying anything. And Siddharamayi has clearly told all his MLAs not to say a single word in media. So definitely these all meetings we have been tracking, but nothing official so far. But Lingayat uh, MLAs are here and they are uh, saying that there should be one deputy CM from uh, Lingayat community. So that is also under consideration, I guess. I don't know what is happening uh, closer. That Sunil Prabhu uh, can tell more. But <laughs> Priti, can you hear me? The uh, full theater, the full theater as far as Karnataka is concerned is playing out right here on your screen where there is movement, one bungalow to the other bungalow, one house to the other house, one meeting, meeting two, meeting three, then you lose track of the number of meetings, one shot from a lift, media in another lift, moving forward, trying to get that one little sound reaction to figure out what exactly is happening, what is the negotiation, what is the counter offer, punch, counter punch, it's all happening. It first happened in Bengaluru and now the drama is happening right here in New Delhi. So these are visuals of DK Shiv Kumar entering into a lift, going somewhere. I'm sorry, I'm not being able to give more details beyond that because we are still in the process of figuring out where exactly all of this is happening. But Saurabh Shukla, let me now quickly go, come back to you. So the point is that there is a delay and a delay means obviously there is no deal so far because had there been a deal, there would have been an announcement. Absolutely, just update uh, uh, that DK Shiv Kumar has reached Kaveri Apartments where uh, his brother stays, uh, DK Suresh. So now he is there and, uh, and he has been staying there from last from yesterday when he arrived in Delhi. But now I think Siddhar Maya is going to be the CM, he is front runner I guess. But now that power, sh power sharing meetings are underway and uh, definitely Siddhar Maya was uh, empowered chief minister in 2013 when under his leadership Congress got 122 seats and under his leadership Congress was single largest party uh, getting 103 seats in 2018 as well. But Siddhar Maya is very quiet. In fact, after his meeting with Rahul Gandhi, his, supporter, his supporters and MLAs who are here to support him, they were very excited but now they are also very quiet. The clear instructions from uh, party high command not to say anything, no celebration till the time they announce it formally. Okay, Tanushri Pandey is also now back with us. So, I think now we have a clear idea of who went where in the last 10 minutes. Uh, so, Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar left the residence of Mr. Randeep Surjewala. Those were the pictures you saw earlier. And he has now reached Kaveri Apartments, which is the place where his brother D.K. Suresh stays. Uh, from where Tanushree is now live. Uh, now, Tanushree, uh, beyond just keeping quiet, smiling, uh, saying that uh, we are all together, uh, obviously, extremely tight-lipped these principal characters or key protagonists are as far as this entire development is concerned. What are you hearing? Absolutely. 
Absolutely, Sanket, and that's what uh, the top brass of the Congress party has asked all the leaders to stay like. They have all been asked to stay tight-lipped as far as uh, giving any media bites are concerned because DK Shiv Kumar has already been speaking to media and, you know, not in those many words, but he has... Uh, expressed his expressed his will to become the chief minister and he also uh, not though in those many words but he also expressed that he is little upset that he has to fight so much to get the top job in Karnataka so that's why now uh, what we are hearing from sources that Mr. Kharge has asked both the camps both Siddharamaya and uh, Mr. DK Shiv Kumar to stay quiet as far as uh, talking to media is concerned until and unless a formal announcement of being chief minister is made. DK Shiv Kumar is back at his brother's residence here at Kaveri at the, in the national capital. We tried asking him several questions, but all he did was smile. And that's what he has been doing ever since he has landed in the national capital. But one thing is clear, and that's the bottom line, that he's not going to take any power form, power sharing formula. He is not going to be the man who has always worked for the Congress party from behind the scenes. This time around, he wants his appreciation and he wants it in the form of a post, which is the Karnataka chief ministership. He is not letting it go and it, at least not without giving it a tough fight. In the, in the afternoon, he did speak to media in Canada and he said that uh, all, all the all the reports you have been hearing on media channels are all bogus, which means he insinuated that if uh, if if any TV channel is running that Siddharamaiah has been uh, selected as the chief minister of Karnataka, that news report is bogus. So that's what uh, DK Shivkumar said as far as him talking to media is concerned. He's tight-lipped, he's smiling, but he looks by the body language of it, he well. looks extremely tired. Also because he was not keeping physically well, but. Uh, not letting it go without uh, without giving it a tough fight. That's it, that. Uh, at least on that front, he has put his foot down. Back to you. Now he's doing everything else, but uh, if you were to see the faces of all the Congress leaders over the past 20 minutes, I can tell you the only person smiling right now is you, Tanushri. Neither Mr. D.K. Shivkumar nor Randeep Surjewala nor uh, nor Mrs. Siddharamaiya. I have not seen anyone smiling right now. These are like the nervous final overs. If this were to be and IPL. Thank you very much, Tanushree as well as uh, Saurabh Shukla for joining us. We are stopping for a short break at this moment. When we come back, we will get you some news from across the border from Pakistan. It's quite a mess out there.